coming back to the earth to judge every one of our lives in righteousness one day. And how will you be found on that day? The Bible says, the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Do not be deceived. The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Drunken will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. The Bible says that homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. The Bible says that sodomites will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. The Bible says that lesbians will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. The Bible says that adulterers, fornicators, revilers, revelers, lewdness, lebitiousness, all will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. But the good news is, although the wages of sin is death, the good news is the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ and only through Jesus Christ who saves us. Jesus said that. It's in the New Testament. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Don't you think there's enough hate in the world? Do you not think that sodomizing people sodomizing each other is not hate? I think when we people adults of their own free will. Right. So when adults, yeah, when adults, when adults kill each other, that's love. Is that what you're saying? Love is love. Love has no definition. Definition. Love is not love. Love is not love in this world. Love has a clear definition. Love is kind. Love is patient. Love does not parade itself. Love is not proud. Love does no harm to its neighbor. Love has a clear definition. Saying love is love is just like saying water is water. It's a ridiculous statement. The Bible says that although the wages of sin is death, the free gift of God is eternal life, but only through Jesus Christ who saves us. If you confess and forsake your sins, the Bible says, Jesus said, I will forgive you of your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Little children, let no one deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. He who sins is of the devil. For the devil has been sinning since the beginning. For this reason, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, was manifest to destroy the works of the devil. Are you walking in known willful sin? If you are walking in known willful sin, you are of your father, the devil. You see, for the devil is the prince of this world. The devil is the god of this world, and people are under the sway of the devil. But Jesus Christ came to this earth. He lived a sinless, perfect life. He died on a cross. Three days later, he was risen again. He now sits at the right hand of the Father. He intercedes for each one of us. And through him, we can have forgiveness and redemption of sins. He will also come back to this earth one day and judge every one of our lives in righteousness. And if you'll be found unrighteous, the Bible says that a, a lake that burns with fire and brimstone awaits you. You see, for God is the beginning and the end. He said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, and I will give freely the fountains of living water to him who thirsts. He who overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he will be my sons and daughters. But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars will have their part in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Is that what you want for your life? Do you want to burn in a lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death? Why would you not rather confess and forsake your sins? 
Why would you not rather turn from your homosexuality? Why would you not rather turn from your drunkenness? Why don't you turn from your fornication? Turn from your adultery? Turn from your murderous heart? You know, when the Bible speaks about those things mentioned in the book of Revelation at the end, murderers, this includes abortion. In fact, abortion is one of the worst murders there are out there. God said he hates the hands that shed innocent blood. Hates the hands that shed innocent blood. 588 innocent little babies are murdered every day in this country. In this country alone. 588 babies are murdered every single day. Yes, exactly. Matter, right? no, you should have it says, hey, are you judging me? Are you judging me right now? So you're a hypocrite. You come and judge me here and tell me not to judge. You're a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. You're judging me right now and you're telling me not to. Are you judging us? Are you spreading your poison here to us right now? Are you just saying, so you're judging me? You're judging me. I've got no problem with judging. I've got no problem with judging. In fact, you're so worried about me judging you that when God comes and judges your life and righteousness one day, how will you stand? You think my judgments are strong? Wait till God judges you because His judgment is His judgments are final. God's judgments are final, and when God judges your life one day in righteousness. It will be heaven or hell. It will be a final judgment. There will be no more judgments after that. Repent today. Repent today while you still have breath in your lungs. While God is still giving you breath in your lungs, repent today. You see, for God takes no delight in the death of the wicked. He wants all to turn and live. God does not take any delight in the death of the wicked. He wants all to be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth in Him. God wants you to repent. He's given you enough breath, enough time. He's appointed the times and the boundaries of your dwelling in the hope that you may seek and grope for Him. And God is not far from any of us. The Bible says, seek the Lord while He may be found. Call upon Him while He is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord and I will, He will have mercy on them. And to our God, for He will abundantly pardon. Today is the day of salvation. Today God has given you breath in your lungs that you may seek and grope for Him. And if you really seek for God, He will be found. You see, for the broken, contrite spirit is what God is seeking. When you are humble and contrite about your sins, when you are broken about the sins that you have committed against the just and holy living God, this is when God will draw near to you. He will comfort you in your sins, in your brokenness about your sins. The Bible says, repent therefore and be converted. That your sins may be blotted out and times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Times of refreshing. Jesus said, unless a man or woman be reborn, they cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. This is a rebirth of the spirit. God gives you a new spirit, a new heart. He takes that stony heart and he gives you a heart of flesh, a heart that desires righteousness. He puts His Spirit inside you, His Holy Spirit inside you. And you live a righteous life with Him. The things you hated doing before, you now love doing. The wicked things that you love doing, you now hate doing. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ today. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ today. He will forgive you of all your sins. The Bible says He is faithful and just and able to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you from all the unrighteousness in your life. 
Draw near to God and He will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the presence of the Lord. It's all about humility. You cannot come to God with a proud spirit. You see, for God opposes the proud, but only gives grace to the humble. That's why we have this movement called Gay Pride. It's of its father, the devil. Gay Pride is of its father, the devil. For God does not want anyone with pride in their heart to receive God's grace. God does not want the proud to receive His grace. For God opposes the proud, but only gives grace to the humble. And the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness, denying worldly lusts, we can live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age. Looking forward to the blessed hope and return of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Are you living soberly? Are you living righteously? Are you living godly in this present age? Are you doing what Jesus commanded the woman caught in adultery to do? To go sin no more? Jesus said, go and sin no more, lest the worst thing happen to you. But what are people doing today? Sinning more and more. More and more drunkenness. More and more gay pride events. More and more homosexuality. More and more adultery. More and more lewdness. More and more lavishness. More and more envy and strife. You can forgive. You can give up these sins. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ today. That he may forgive you of your sins. Repent and be converted. Amen.